I've gotten more private as I've gotten older. Um, I think that I think that I'm an extrovert because I get energy. I get energized from other people. Um, my wife and my mum think that I am an extroverted introvert. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I I feel like I've certainly changed as I've gotten older. Um, being in the public eye as well, like the more you're in the public eye, the less you want to give. Yeah. Because you just feel like everyone just wants a piece of you and like things like social media and stuff. It just, you're constantly putting yourself out there. Um, and, you know, with kids and and uh, other things in my life, I'm like, I, I don't want to be so transparent anymore. I do miss the days. Right. I remember growing up and going to drama school and stuff and people used to talk about the the most wonderful gift for an actor was to have anonymity. Because then people can buy into any character that you're playing. And these days it seems to have been a seismic shift the other way where it's like you're doing, you know, you're in a show or you're doing a film and they want you to be on social media all the time, push, 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 but not in the character or in the film, but as you. And and you feel like you're giving that away. I feel like, yeah, you're giving away like your tricks, basically. You're giving away your energy. The thing that you bring to a character um, is unique to what you have inside of you. And the more you give of, of yourself, I feel like the less people can make that differentiation. Right. And have, but like, for example, people have a hard time if I play an American character. Um, not because my dialect's bad, I think, but mainly <laughs> because they think, oh, it's weird because you're British and like we're used to you talking this certain way and I just can't do that thing. And it's like, yeah. for me, that's a frustrating kind of reaction because yeah. it's like, but I'm an actor. So my job is to embody whoever it is I'm playing and for you to believe that. Yeah, because in the old days, <laughs> I mean, I'm talking like early 2000s yeah. before cell phones. You, if they saw an English actor playing a role, they they don't know if he's English. They yeah. don't know if he's American. They don't. So there's a mystery of it all. Yeah. But with social media, it's kind of uh, it's erased that mystery. Mm -hmm. And I mean, all my cards are out on the table. <laughs> I mean, Jesus, man, everybody's like, oh yeah, it's Rosenbaum, and oh he's doing an English accent. I'm very <laughs> good, brother. You know. So yeah, I, I can understand that. And a lot of people will say that the um what's the word like you know the the old school actors they're the, the old the old um you know the harrison fords the real movie stars the stars there yeah. aren't many around anymore no do you agree with that i do actually to a certain extent and i, I the, the weird thing is that the stars the movie stars don't tend to have an awful lot of range within their performances apart from a, a select few that would be known as character actors right but like people like tom cruise who i think is still one of the you know few movie stars out there now brad pitt you know they're very similar in when you when you can see tom cruise or brad pitt you kind of know what you're going to get but you don't care because they're a fucking star right and uh and then you get the kind of tear down from that um and that used to be that you could play whatever role was given to you um, but now it seems like people, if they know too much about you, they have a real hard time buying into that range. Yeah, I guess that could be a little upsetting.